Yes. Hello, it's William Pierce again, uh, talking about my 100 day sculpture series, where I endeavour to produce 100 sculptures in 100 days. Not consecutive days, but and I think my wife would leave me before I got to about day 20. But, um, yeah, 100 sculptures, all created as a product of one day's work. Um, and each one is linked to the day before. exhibit the full hundred days in an amazing venue mm -hmm. as yet to be found mm -hmm. but uh, I think as an installation on a single shelf it could be truly amazing yeah. regardless almost of the merit of the sculpture mm -hmm. you see a hundred pieces in a long line or possibly a curving shelf could be very very interesting as we get to this end of the country. Like the um, Elgin Marbles. Well, yeah, like the Elgin Marbles or, um, or uh, Chinese Terracotta Army, that sort of yes. feeling of a map about it. Yes. And here we get uh, a little mm -hmm. sub-series where there are two figurative ele elements happening within the carving. Um, this is an idea I carry on for two or three pieces before it runs its course and we go off into a... Would you like to show the viewers a close-up of the marble? I can uh, go close-up with this camera. Sure, so close in on this point here. I've got my head in the shadow. Here we go. And what's the name of the marble and where does it come from? This marble is Portuguese marble. It comes from Estremoz in Portugal. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely white, isn't it? It's a beautiful the porcelain. Yeah. Look. And it's got these uh, veins in it. To yeah. Give a little interest. Veins. And very, some of them have got uh, brown patches. Very colour, very brown. Okay. Yeah. And so, what else can I tell you about this? Um, yeah, Latin. Towards the end of this section of the series, the figurative elements almost disappear, um, and we get down to things that are much more abstract. Well, this is the most fascinating app I've ever seen. Oh, really? Congratulations. Well, thank you. Because you're seeing a creative process yeah, from, you see from the, the artist. You see the development of the, uh, of the ideas as they go along. Because a lot of art gets cra trashed and <laughs> only one survives. Right, yeah. And you've carried on. So we'll, we'll photograph them all? So yeah, I'll photograph them all to the end. Um, and this is, of course, at the end here we return to the figure, but I'm only at number 34. Ah, you have a th you're a third of the way. I'm a third of the way, so I'm not quite sure what will happen by the time we get to 100. So that's the, the reason, because uh, you don't know where you're heading. I don't know where I'm heading, I haven't a clue. And so it all so comes to this, <laughs> your creative <laughs> processes. So that's, yeah, so you I find it very interesting, uh, yeah. I mean, partly because in the morning when I get up, I have no idea what I'm going to do, but I only have uh, from 9 in the morning till 6 in the evening to complete the work. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't spend too long um, procrastinating about what I'm going to do. I have to sort of pick up the idea and crack on with it, um, which is, is nice. Uh, it's quite a refreshing way to work because uh, all sorts of ideas uh, that are maybe only Maybe if you thought about it longer, you wouldn't bother with it. All those, all those thoughts get produced um, as, as, as final work. So it's, it's, uh, it's been a big challenge.
change for me working in this fashion. Because what did you do in the past? You did major sculptures? Uh, I've done much bigger work. I've done mm -hmm. very, very rarely have I worked on, on pieces that I finish in a single day. Um, but, and the much bigger pieces um, obviously take months to realise. And mm. you only turn over one idea in that month um, if you're working on a, on a large abstract piece of like sculpture. It's David. But uh, if you. Yeah. I'm working on this scale, of course you're turning over an idea every day. Yeah. Uh, so that's quite exciting. Yeah, uh, so lots of creative decisions. So, um, uh, tell the gallery owners now what you'd like them to do for you. To, to, uh, what I'd like what, to do is exhibit so it. Have they exhibit it for you? I'd like to exhibit the uh, full hundred series um, in uh, Tates and Tides in Cornwall, would be the best oh. venue. Um, because I live in Cornwall. And, yes. uh, I'm directly linked to the Cornish tradition of stone carving, ah. uh, Barbara Hepworth, etc. Uh, and uh, I'm a link from there to modernity. Uh, mm -hmm. So, and it's also a beautiful gallery. Fantastic. What was the name again? The Tate and St. Oh, right. Tate and Tide. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I went to Tate Britain, I uh, got a press pass yesterday to see uh, the uh, um, uh, competition that's not coming into my head, the name of the competition they got yeah. there. Um, and uh, I got the press pass, but I, it takes a week to get permission for somebody to come with you oh, right. to video it. Oh, okay. And copyright problems. Oh, so yeah, that yeah, wasted yeah. my afternoon oh, okay. at Tate Britain. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I hope to get to the presentation later in the year. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so Tate's and Dives is... Uh, is that's uh, part of the Tate. It's part of the Tate. Yeah, uh, I thought it was. Group, but uh, they wanted to have a wing in the West Country, I think. Anyway, that would be my dream to get it. Yes, well, let me, let me zoom right round and uh, you can sign off and say goodbye. Thanks, thanks for letting me video you You're and putting you on my uh, YouTube uh, TV station and I hope you get lots of fans and lots of comments thanks. and, uh, and uh, can they buy them individually or do they? Yeah, they can buy them individually. So if the anyone best thing of all would be to sell the whole group to someone yeah. but would, would you, those buyers are hard to buy. Uh, are you allowed to tell them uh, the price? Uh, each individual piece is selling for £1,200. Okay. Um, but if someone wants to come along and buy the lot, all hundred, uh, there might be a discount. Wonderful. <laughs> well, thank you very Thanks much. Goodbye. Bye-bye.